Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Bible readings for the coming Sunday. This coming Sunday is Lent 5, and this is year B of our three-year cycle of readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31, verses 31 to 34. The time is coming, declares the Most High, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their forebears when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they broke my covenant, though I was married to them, declares the Most High. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Most High. I will put my law in their minds, and I will write it on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. No longer will each one teach a neighbor and each a brother or sister, saying, Know the Most High, because they will all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Most High. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verses 5 to 10. Christ did not take upon himself the glory of becoming a high priest. But God said to him, You are my son. Today I have become your father. And God says in another place, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with loud cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a child of God, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him and was designated by God to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reading chapter 12, verses 20 to 33. Now, there were some Greeks among those who went up to worship at the feast. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, with a request. Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew. Andrew and Philip in turn told Jesus. Jesus replied, the hour has come for the human one to be glorified. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The one who loves one's life will lose it, while the one who hates one's life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Now my heart is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that was there and heard it said it had thundered others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus said, 
This voice was for your benefit, not mine. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. But I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May you be blessed as you meditate upon these readings. Please tune in next week for our readings. Next week will be Palm Sunday.